Hey guys, what's going on? Slash here, welcome to this week's episode. So we're getting on the ice with the coast, not once, but twice this week. We're also gonna be doing a little bit of flexibility and mobility off ice, doing a little bit of maintenance stuff. We're gonna have a quick chat about my video last week, see if I can get a bit more of that kind of content to you. And we're also gonna have a chat about what's going on over the next few weeks. All right, let's get into it. So part of coming into the coast has been getting used to the new rink. So the neutral zone is a lot smaller than in Newcastle. So the angles are different. So when guys were coming in over the blue line, I was actually cheating short side because I thought that they were closer because I'm used to the blue line being closer to the net than it is here. So I've had to kind of rejig my angles a little bit, um, getting used to being a little bit further towards the center of the ice when I'm coming out to guys on the blue line and that are crossing the blue line. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now than I was when I first started, but uh, it's still something that I'm working on. Uh, luckily, Fridge, like my coach there, is helping me out um, with that as well, giving me drills like this where I can get a lot more used to my angles and you know, do a bit of angle work from the net beforehand. And then once I get into actually practicing, I can be a little bit more like just you know focusing on where I am in my net and I'm focusing on the shot so at the start here it's been something that I've been getting used to in the new rink as you kind of focus on that stuff you do lose a little bit of um, you know form and maybe tracking and stuff like that um, because you're not actually focusing as much on the puck as you are where you are in your net but you know that's why we've got training uh, it's better for me to do that now um, and get it right before the season starts then get into the season and um, I don't know where I am <laughs> in the net. So it doesn't matter how fast you're reacting, if you're not on the right angle, then like you just, you've lost the battle before you've even started. All right, guys, I wanted to jump back in and quickly talk about my last video that I uploaded, which is why I left the Australian Ice Hockey League. That video has hit a thousand views now. It is by far my most uh, watched video. I've got the most watch time, I think like a third of the watch time from my entire channel is from that one video. Not that I've got many videos up yet though. And I've got heaps of great feedback from people saying that they really enjoyed that kind of content. So I'm wanting to bring you guys more of that. I'm not sure if I might do a vlog one week and then like a feature video the other week to kind of like balance it out a little bit. In saying that though, I know a lot of you guys are watching these vlogs, you know, pretty much every single week. So I don't want to leave you guys out in the cold either. But unfortunately I've got limited time. I'm struggling to get these vlogs out, you know, weekly anyway as you've probably seen over the last couple of weeks. Please let me know in the comments down below what you'd prefer. And also if you've got any more suggestions for other videos, chuck them down in the comments. So I'm gonna be giving away one of these Skaters Network shirts any color, any size, and any of the Skaters Network branded shirts that are on skatersnetwork.com.au. To be in it, you have to be subscribed to my channel by Sunday the 10th of April, which is this coming Sunday. I'm just gonna... All right, don't listen to that guy at all. He's lying to you. I'm actually going to draw it next Sunday, the 17th of April uh, at midday. So I want to make sure that you know that this is going on. So the video that I actually announced that I'm doing this giveaway, nobody watched it. So um, I know there's a lot of people that are watching it uh, and they might not be subscribed and they don't know that this giveaway is on. So now you know, next Sunday, the 17th at midday, I'm going to draw a name. Somebody will get a free shirt. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to be in for a chance to win. All right, now we can go back to this guy. So tonight I'm gonna to do a bit of editing and uh, do a little bit of a stretch. But first of all, gotta have my dinner. I absolutely love my green pasta. Pretty riveting viewing right here, watching me microwave some pasta. It's strange that these videos aren't getting many views. I don't understand why. Grab a fork. Grab a fork, mate. Alright, boom. Back in. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so I've got my dinner. Jackie! Yeah. What a woman. Let's go and do some editing. Locked in. Let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so we've just um, finished up editing for tonight. I'm gonna um, hop out to the lounge room, have a bit of stretch, really kind of focus on the um, hip flexors and the glutes and the hamstrings, finding a little bit of soreness. Um, you know, pretty standard. Um, I think maybe a little bit more than usual this year because I've been working on a lot more mobility stuff and, and opening my hips up a lot more. So I'm kind of doing a little bit more work in those areas than I would be usually just because I'm, um, I'm able to, you know, move them further than normal. So a bit of work on those areas and uh, then it's off to bed. So this is my standard foam roll routine. Focusing on those areas that I'm working on the ice. Um, it's pretty safe to say everywhere on your lower body gets worked when you're in net. Take it slow, find those big juicy bits in your muscles and just work them out. As all well my stretching, I do change that up a little bit, pretty much dependent on how I'm feeling at the time. Uh, these are some standard stretches that I do. Just pretty much working my groin and hamstrings on the stretches uh, and a little bit of hips also are uh, the 9090 is really good for the hips I definitely recommend it So it's Thursday night, heading out to the rink. Tonight we've got a bit more of a skills training in. Uh, we're not gonna have a heap of guys down there, not gonna have a full 20 bodies on the ice. We're still uh, waiting for guys to come back from overseas and imports to get in and that kind of stuff. I've been told that this is gonna kind of be a 50% uh, goalie training session and a 50% player training session. So I'm uh, really interested to see um, what the coaches come up with as far as um, working on goalie stuff. But whatever we do, it's an hour of ice time, hour and a half of ice time that you know I need. Whoops, that camera's in there. My good one, that it also doesn't work, is in there. So maybe, maybe that might fix it. It is a bit of a bummer not being able to, you know, put my gear in a locker room. I don't think we're gonna have a locker room for the year. Like. The majority of rinks in Australia don't have a locker room for their RHL teams or PHL teams or whatever. The only reason why we had one in Newey is because the the owner of the rink also owns the team. So um, he had us, you know, he just made one for us. Yeah, I've been lugging my gear into the rink for, you know, 15 years, so. G'day. So, you know, it's not gonna kill me to keep doing it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, at least we're not in the little kids' room anymore. We're actually in a change room, which is nice. Quick access to the bathroom. Actually, speaking of. Where was I? Oh, yeah, ice hockey. I actually don't know if anyone else is here. I'm pretty sure I play ice hockey. I don't know. Maybe I don't. I'm going to take the chance to uh, actually uh, get ready for training. Because um, I'm actually here early enough to get ready for training. So I'm going to get onto that. Oh, no. Yeah. I go about three hours and then um, I'll just eat a banana. No, maybe it is more. I don't know. I'll do a vlog. Yeah. I haven't hit from overseas. Yeah, they're all four hours. Yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah. So on these, you'll probably see I'm still cheating a little bit to the short side. I wasn't able to kind of have my little skate before I got in. It's only minor, but it is something that I'm, you know, actively trying to work on. One thing that I noticed when I'm trying to work on this stuff and, and just in general trying to um, work on aspects that aren't involved with save selection or anything like that or movement uh, when I'm on the ice, I'll start to bring my chest down a bit because I'm just not really focusing on my stance before I save the puck and 
that kind of impacts every aspect of my butterfly movement. So you probably see a lot of the movement that I'm doing here is actually a lot sloppier than it was like a month or two ago um, when I was training. You know, it happens when you kind of change up what you're focusing on and you're not actually focusing on stopping pucks. What I like to do is during a practice, if I can, if I do have some of that stuff to work on, I'll work on it for a couple of drills and then after that I'll go back to just focusing on saving the pucks so I do get that work in that I want to work on but then I'm not challenging the guys properly and they need to be shooting on a goalie that's just thinking about stopping the puck as well it's just as much for them as it is for me so I do kind of swap it back after I've done my work for maybe a drill or two to just focusing on stopping the puck focusing on being big in net and um Quieting down that movement and moving with purpose, making sure that I've got my hands in front of me, I'm in my stance and I'm ready to stop plugs. couple of people have hit me up about when I'm going to be playing. Um, head over to the Pacific Hockey League and the Coast Instagram pages. The schedule's been released, so all of our games are on there. We haven't been told what's going on yet with live streams and broadcasts, but there will definitely be one. So keep an eye on those two Instagram pages, and as well, I'll update it on here. As far as supporter gear for the Coast, we're still ordering jerseys and like our team apparel and all that, and I'm fairly sure when that comes through, all the supporter and fan gear will come through with it. This club is starting from nothing, so it takes a little bit of time for like all of that manufacturing process and everything to go through. I have been flirting with the idea of doing a bit of merch myself, like like, I absolutely love all the designs that my wife's made. I want a shirt for myself and like a fire panel with like the awesome like tiger on it and stuff like that. It looks so good. If you would be interested in anything like that, let me know. I might do like a small run of shirts or hats or something like that. Also, I wanted to put a little bit of a shout out to a couple of other goalies that are doing something similar to what I'm doing. Uh, Ryan Tanner over in Canada, he's a junior goalie. He's definitely a lot more refined goaltender than I am. So if you want to see someone that actually looks like they know what they're doing, make sure you go check him out. I've also been hit up by another goalie, Chase Benier. He's an American goalie, played some college hockey, and now is over playing in the Israel League. Sussed out a bit of his content, looks pretty cool. Make sure you go give him a follow. As well, guys, if you're enjoying the content that I'm doing here, make sure you're sharing it with your mates, your teammates, like fan groups, anything like that. I'm wanting to try and grow the audience a little bit and, you know, figure out what kind of content I can bring to you guys that's going to be maybe a little bit more engaging than just my daily life going to and from the rink. So share it up, like, subscribe, head over to Instagram, follow me at Tom Lasher, and I'll see you in the next one.